Before you click out, we're giving away a free NFL jersey of your choice. Here's how to enter. Go to either Apple or Spotify in the link in our bio and give us a rating. That's all we're asking you to do. Then come back to this post and comment five stars. You will then be entered to win your free NFL jersey of your choice. Winner will be announced October 22nd. Welcome back to another episode of Caps Off by, by the, the Game, Game Day. Day. Happy Predictions Friday, Week Five. Happy Five. What? Weeking of five. Hmm? What are we doing for Week Five? Uh, what are we doing for Week Five? I don't know. I'm probably just gonna stay home, chill. Um, psych. Psych. You thought we're going to our games. Yeah. All of our teams are playing each other this week. Weird. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> Somehow. It's uh, the Blue Man Group Day on Saturday. Blue Man Group. Yeah, go blue. Big I, blue. I, I said the blue angel will be in uh, San Francisco, and he's like, oh, yeah, the blue man group. <laughs> you don't know what the blue angels are? No. Actually? I don't know what that is. No, I don't really? know, what the, I know. know. The planes? I know what the yeah. Thunderbirds are. Is that similar? I thought yeah. everyone knew what the blue angels were. Like, I thought the, everyone the, like, knew, cool yeah. cool planes that do tricks in the air and shit. Oh, that's cool. They're going to fly over and flip? Yeah, this, it's Fleet Week in San Francisco. Fleet, Fleet Week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fleet we're back. heading to San Fran for Fleet Week. Guys, That's why we're going. Just, just Now we're going to what neighborhood are we going to? We're going to be in Arinda. Arinda. No. Oh, 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 I'm taking Felipe to the Castro. Ah, Your dads would love the Castro. The Castro. I'm excited. Shout out to Gays. You know what the, I would say, you know what Castro is, right? I know Fidel Castro. I don't know that oh, no. Castro. I oh, understand the Castro. The oh, you are from Miami. You wouldn't know the that Castro. Castro is the OG gay neighborhood in San Francisco. Oh, oh okay. nice. Your, your, your dads would love it. Yeah, they I'm would, sure. I'm sure fans. they would like a normal neighborhood too. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they would thrive. But the more they, rainbow you know, flags, the better for them. Yeah. As I, I, I've, like, I've been to a gay bar there one time. It was yeah. just, it, it was to, something. San Fran gay bar. Maybe maybe of, maybe a lot when of you, cocks. May, no, maybe, you did not. A ton of cocks. Maybe so when you no go, lies. was it like a like a male strip club or no, some shit? No, just just saw a lot of. Yeah. How the fuck are you seeing a bunch of random? It wasn't a strip club. They're just like like there's these people there. The I can they testify to that. Out. Yeah, no, I nah, can testify nah, that. Nah, My dad, nah, well, by that. the way, for context, nah, I feel like we've done, fix that, we've done both soft launches and hard launches. My dad's okay. So on you this, did a hard launch yeah. like months ago. But so. um, you're going to meet both of them this I'm weekend. I'm very excited. So I'm excited to yeah. see that. But I'm, I'm jealous of that, but he's going to meet John. <laughs> Maybe when yeah, you guys we're, go, we're doing a little we'll go to the gayest neighborhood in uh, really the southeast. Might be in the entire country, actually, outside of Castro. Uh, it's Wilton Manors. It's right next to my where I live. So. Oh, Wilton Manors. Manors. Yeah. Wilton Manors. It's like a suburb or some shit? Yeah. It's just like a neighborhood. Uh, not a neighborhood, a but neighborhood? like a city. It's a city. Oh, a city. Literally a gay city. How do you quantify that? Like gays per capita? Yes. <laughs> the whole, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even, BC. I swear to God, I'm That's not even cool. joking. It is a gay neighborhood. Like if, uh, if yeah? you know, if you're from South Florida, you know Wilton Manors is the gay neighborhood. If you're gay, you go live there. Yes. Is my dad nice? lives right Your outside of it. Do they have like a downtown? Oh, they have a little bit of like a, and it's a scene, yeah. So to the point of you saying you've seen a lot of cocks, I've also. Nah, that see, that don't make sense, bro. You don't go to a regular club and see or a regular bar and see a bunch of pussy everywhere. Yeah, but yeah, but, but think about it. Gays are different. Think about it, like gays are different. Nah, bro, y'all gotta fix that shit. No, I mean, I, I'll ask it. them if they want to fix it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. think they do. <laughs> Look, we'll, 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 we'll take the That's time weird. this weekend. We'll go watch a college football game, and then I'll show. Wait, so your pet, your your dad's though? They live outside the game, right outside. Yeah, it, right it was. It, I was only okay with it because I was like hammered drunk. I was just. I walked in. I was just like, I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, I'm this boy, is I'm the like, vibe. I'm like, yo, this is hilarious. It this is, is what y'all do. Like, it is a lot. That's wild, man. But anyway, for context, we are Adam and I are going to Miami for the Giants Dolphins game, game of the week, and then Jack and Felipe are going to San Fran for the Cowboys at Niners game. Santa Clara. Course. Right in Santa Clara. Well, we're gonna we're going to San Fran. They're going to San yeah, Fran. You're flying into San Fran. We're flying uh, Castro like all night Saturday. And just it's the family down. bring home the Jesus date Christ. weekend. You know that you know in the Bachelor hometown dates, hometown ah. weekend. Yeah. The Bachelor when they when they get to bring the hometown episodes like the final three. They bring someone home like, mm -hmm. with them to yeah, meet the parents. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I get to meet Adam's parents. And oh, yeah. uh, there's Felipe three of them. Gets to meet. Well, you, you guys have met my mother briefly. When yes, we have. I met your mom. I met your mother briefly too. Yep, my mom. But yeah, he gets he gets to meet John. John, I met John's your mother character. briefly. I'm too. jealous. You get to my, meet John. My dad wants to go to the tailgate with us just to like fuck with people that we're interviewing. That's what he <laughs> called me last Honestly, night. Honestly, he should. Oh, that's he could film you guys yeah. together of uh, doing fan on the street. Let's put a bet yeah. on who's going to score the most points this week. Oh, out of our teams? the Giants. Out of our teams. <laughs> but that's. So he knows Bear it's down. the Dolphins. He knows it's the Dolphins. We got, you're, playing the, you're playing the fucking Giants, bro. We have two, like, gauntlet hey, defenses. Have some respect. Yeah. Have some respect. What, you can't, you can't expect <laughs> our offenses that are both Dude. elite 
to score against. Don't let him talk to your there. defense like that. Now your offense is. Elite. Don't let him talk to your Mine defense like that. It's good though. It's damn good. Let's fight back. Damn good offense, Felipe. How can I fight back? There is nothing to defend. I'll tell you. The Fuck Giants. off! My defense is fucking great. That, that's no, a lie. They don't know how to tackle. That's a lie. Yeah, well, white lies. Fucking Xavier it, McKinney can't pull a guy down for his life. Wink. Is, Martin, is that your damn. corner, Xavier McKinney? Yeah, from Alabama, Shit, man. Uh, Look, I, I asked a Giants fan uh, today. I was like. I was just like texting. I was like, I was like, oh, so how do you, if you're the GM of the Giants, how do you, how do you fix this? How do you turn the Giants into a contender? And she just goes, uh, bomb the facility. Yep. Oh, just really start. Uh, did you see what scratch. I just did? Maybe start yeah. in New York <laughs> potentially. You, you were thinking the same thing. Bomb, bomb the facility. The facility. Like, I was thinking, start blow it up. Scratch. Like let's yeah. let's have George. Bush Literally, she said, so bomb the facility during practice. Yeah, it's like, time it to move on works. from all the. Would this pieces. be an unpopular opinion if I said it's not Daniel Jones's fault? No, I think it's a fair. Fair point. So yeah, it's, it's, it's but it's not to, popular. Well, it's hard to pinpoint. Well, no, I don't think you know it's what? Popular you know, to blame everything casual, on Daniel either. The casual take is Daniel Jones just really robbed the, the New York Giants of 160 million dollars. Well, you kind of said the same thing though. Well, no, you know, you said they should. 160 million dollars is too yes. high, but so he did. I agree. He's not the problem. Technically, it should have been spent on offensive line. So he did rob. It's also not Daniel Jones's fault. But he's part of the problem. Okay, but context, like he's if he's making 40 million dollars. By the time, like, these other guys have gotten their deal, he's not that highest paid. He's, like, a top 15 paid he quarterback. He you know is one though? of three problems, yes. and that's the offensive line, yes. was, the yep. defense, the and, entire defense. And, then, and then the amount of money that he's being paid. I don't, so he's I don't agree paid, with like, the money. Leonard Williams. Like, I don't agree with the money thing. Like, we saw him last year be able to carry a team no, offensively carry, with no, Saquon. Bro, yes, him, it was just him and he Saquon. Did. The yes, offensive line was just bad. He totally did. He played great. He had his best season. So it's almost 15 touchdowns, y'all. I... Uh, but again, they made Dak the playoffs Prescott somehow. didn't throw a touchdown last week, and he played great too. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he didn't like, play great last week. Whatever. But in I've the been first saying week, the Cowboys' offense is bad. Like throwing like bad. touchdowns is not everything, I get right? Because you I'm, have a Saquon. I agree. I'm just saying he still played really well. If you like, it was reported that the Giants didn't want to bring in D Hop. D Hop looks pretty damn good in Tennessee. Nah, look, if yeah. you were to bring in a, a weapon that at least can help alleviate the concerns on fucking Daniel Jones, maybe there more might be more success. We argue this all the time. Give your fucking quarterback weapons. He has yeah. one weapon and no offensive I'm line. Honest, it's not even like the, the money's not. Either. The it's like what we learn with the Giants right now like, is that if your offensive line sucks, nothing else matters. Yep. Well, that we know. By the way, with the Bengals pretty much as well. We but, know this. I'm yeah, just like putting like We in know context, this, but no like, one ever talks about But then that, it comes down right? like to nobody coaching. ever. Russell Wilson played with the worst offensive line for yeah, 10 years. Yeah, I was going to say, nobody yeah. ever, ever had talked the worst offensive that. line the last two years. But that's if you have like a special quarterback. Like it's different. Right, but nobody said Tua was special. Like it, then it comes down to coaching. I'm Tua not had, talking about Tua. I'm talking about Russ. Tua had the worst. I don't know why. Tua, yeah. Because Tua had the worst offensive line the last two years. All right, but let's talk about Russ. Like another guy, like literally the I'm most just, sacked quarterback over the past like ten years. You never heard that as an excuse for why he wasn't performing. You always heard like, all right, Russ is just middle of the season. He was on an MVP campaign, and then he falls down, and like Russ needs to be better. But he had the worst offensive line always. And so with Daniel Jones, same treatment. Obviously, like he needs the offensive line to be better. The offense. I think needs to be better as well. Everything needs to be better. But he is part of the problem. No, I agree. I'm not saying he is not part of the problem and that he is the solution. I just think, like, so many people are like, oh, you rob him and making so much fucking money. Yeah. He's not even being paid that much fucking money. Well, look, people like, love to hate on who. Comparatively. People love to hate, so they're always going to take the negative angle. If you would, true. like, and, and you drafted Jalen Hyde and he's barely playing. Barely touched like, the ball. I, I just don't know what the, like, Dayball. right now, Dayball's, it's Dayball's an issue. It's Dayball oh, is the issue, and the offensive line is Peyton the issue. Manning was going crazy that they weren't feeding Jalen Hyde yeah. on it's the Manning cast. Scott like, Engel, who we just had on the on the pod, was, like, freaking out. And Scott's yeah. more valuable than Peyton Manning, you know? That's when true. Jalen Hyde has been targeted, he's looked really good. Yeah, he had that but one But he's not getting ball. targeted because oh. I think He's mostly, not even getting in the game. He's not. Near, not nearly enough. But same with Darren Waller, too. Darren Waller had two targets last week, bro. Because he didn't, Daniel Jones didn't have time to throw it anywhere. I'm just, yeah. It pisses me off. There's a lot of problems Danny. with the Giants. There's there is no one thing that can be fixed. There's multiple things that But the to main be issue is not Daniel Jones and the money he was paid. That's what Definitely. I, I and I, I, by the way, I don't necessarily think it's like, oh, Dable's a bad coach, but right now, Dable is not doing like the job he needs to be doing. Though, right like, you can, right yeah, now, he's not doing the job he needs to be doing, and he needs to adjust. Whatever well, it is, like, he needs to make adjustments. They had like and 10 he needs or 11. to start play calling on offense instead of fucking yeah. Mike Kafka. <sighs> well, they had 10 or 11 days to prepare after, they and they looked even worse. Yeah, than, yeah it's not It's like, I don't, that's coaching, that's preparation. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into this week's slate of football games. Sunday. One o'clock games. We're going to start with, just let me, again, give us a little context of what we're doing. We're predicting context. the week five slate of games. We're all going to go around and give our picks. We're starting the well, 930. Oh, how did everyone do last week? 
Great. I mean, Felipe wins again, naturally. Obviously, as he does. Obviously, I went 10 and, and 5. I also went 10 and 5. I went 9 and 6. That so we're all pretty close. Though. My you season record. What? 11 and 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's only one game. He's better. won all four weeks. Yeah, but like a game. Or what two. is everyone's record? What's your record, Jack? My record right now well, is. Well, we got to redo your math, I guess. Yeah, uh, 34 and 26. Okay. Mine's 37 and 23. I'm 35 and 25. And then Felipe's like 60 and zero. I'm uh, 42 and <laughs> 18. Jeez. I'm already eight games back. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Felipe's Bro. a dog. But I'm only one back at Adam. And Adam is he's a, he's a choke artist. We'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Adam doesn't start really falling off the rails until like midway through the season. Like we kind of like we Russell game, Wilson, we as yeah, we yeah, were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I got to get a better offensive line. All right. Russell well, plums. let's get into the predictions. We have the football game in London. Yeah, we got a football By the way, nine thirty a.m. Eastern. Sort of game, mate. By the match. way, Bears Commanders last night was a hell of a game. Shocking. Yeah, Bears yeah. finally get a win. It was awesome. Yeah. No, Sam Howell cooked. No. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what game you watch, but had your bets. First game. I can't believe they tied. First game in <laughs> London. London? Jags, Bills. London. Wait, Jags are back to back in London? London. Yes. Back to back in what? London, mate. That's very sick. They got a whole week to stay in yeah. London, honestly. That's, that's pretty cool. That's crazy, though. All right, what's your analysis? Uh, my analysis on that one, mate, is you got a whole country backing you. All the Bills got is fucking yeah. Buffalo. Hey, no, that ain't enough for it, mate. Bills are the home team, though. You got two, you got two straight weeks. Two straight weeks. Two. Two, two straight weeks two. in London. Prepare, get ready for the time zone. Time change, one in it. Um... <laughs> I'm taking the Jaguars. So good. <laughs> the, Engl- the English, the English national football. Up the football. Jaguars, up the Jags. <laughs> Come on, you Jaguars. Jaguars. Bills, you fucking suck. Bills, suck you my fucking, fucking cock, <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> douchebag. I don't know. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right, you're going, you're going I'm with the Jags? Jags. Yeah, God damn. Yep. I think um, I'm going to go with the Bills still, despite the time zone. I'm just doing it for a long for England, mate. For, for England, the Queen. For the Queen. Mate, she rests in paradise, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's, dude, he's so fucking good. It's actually so unbelievable. Steph, <laughs> Steph's friend from London was in town like last weekend. We were hanging out and he goes, uh, mate, I heard you got a uh, pretty stale, stale British accent. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it's not bad. He's like, oh, let me hear it. And I'm like, dude, I got to get like at least one beer in me to start doing this You also got to get in character a little and bit. And then I started doing it and he was like, holy fuck. <laughs> he was impressed? Yeah, he was like, that's really good. It's uh, insane, honestly, it is good. bro. It is good. I'm going to go think, Bills. You want Bills? I yeah. think I'm going to go Bills as well. I would love to go Jags. Yeah. I, I Actually, I think the Bills win, but for the Queen, mate. For the Queen. For the queen. I mean, you convinced me with the Queen. I'll go Jags with you. Oh. <laughs> Do you not want me to? I'll go Bills. <laughs> and, you want me to go Bills? At Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Me, yeah, in Tottenham. I'll in be Tottenham. honest. I don't Up know. Oh, is it Tottenham? Up the Toffees. Is that Toys. the Toffees? I don't Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> I don't feel Spurs. anything with this game. Come on, you Spurs. I'll go Jags. All right. So you're going Jags, Adam? I'll go Jags, yeah. Sweet. Titans at Colts. First one o'clock game. Colts. At Colts. Shout yeah. out. Gross. Shout out Ryan Kondo. Andy Richardson looks good. Jonathan Taylor. Shout I- out the horse. Forge the shoe. I think that's what they <laughs> Is say. Is that what they say? Something like that. The horseshoe. No, yeah. they say for the shoe. For the shoe. I thought they said forge the. Not for, for the shoe. Forge the iron. For the horseshoe. Forge oh, the Something iron. like that. that Kondo be. says some weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got the Colts. I got the Colts. That's a tough Adam, one. You know why? Uh, bounce back, let like down. It. Bounce back, let down. Bounce back, let down. Say it ten times fast. Bounce back, no, let no, down. Good. Bounce back, let down. 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 I'm gonna go Tennessee. Bounce back, let down. Bounce back, let down. All right, enough. I'm gonna go Tennessee. I'm gonna go Colts. Our listeners hate us. Yeah. No, they hate me. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go. Well, shit, man. Wait, where'd you go? Tennessee. Tennessee. Colts. Tennessee. Roll horse. There ain't uh, no place I one of the most raucous places ever. It's a Grateful Dead song. Yeah. I don't know it. Back to the Tennessee. Tennessee. Let's go. It's called uh, Tennessee Jed. I'm going to go with the Titans because I think Mike Vrabel is going to just. Uh, All right, Jack. We're getting I'm on sure the board. Three to the row. Let's, let's, go, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Saints at Patriots. <sighs> Who we got? Oh, it's oh, it's terrible. Terrible. At Patriots. I got, I got Pats at home. I got New England. Uh, two two good defenses. I feel like Derek Carr chokes so Yeah, I'll go. I'll go Pats also. Golly, I'll go Saints. Do it. I don't think the Patriots are. are uh, I don't think the Saints are good either. Granted, no, I've taken. The yeah, Pats they got more lot. talent. Though. I'm taking the Pats a lot. At, I'm taking the under in this game. You want to guess the under? No big bounce back game for Mac Jones. And you, I don't think Has to be. Got to be. Should be. Yo, the game against Dallas where they lost 38-3 to was the biggest blowout in, in Bill, Bill Belichick's Belichick. head coaching career. Really? Guess the, over under for, guess the over-under for that game. 32, 33. <laughs> no, no, 40, 41. That's actually 40. Not, that's I got 40 higher than this. I expected. It's 40? Yeah. 
Mac Jones has to bounce back. Did you take the Saints? Yep. Cool. Or Zappy Hour. Ravens at Steelers. Ravens. It's Mitch Trubisky. Sorry, Jack. Ravens. Mm-hmm. Same. Ravens, Ravens about to be a quiet four and one. Quiet. Ravens. This, this is wild. Honestly, wait a second. Pittsburgh, wait, but it's Mitch. Uh, Sorry. Divisional matchups, it'll be tough. I lean Pitts. Like, I like I liked Pittsburgh. Should, I like I this is a bounce back letdown. I have letdown. to take the Ravens. It is bounce back letdown. It's also would be the most AFC North bullshit ass thing, thing to ever. happen. For the Ravens to beat the Browns twenty eight to three and then lose to Mitch Trubisky and the Steelers, it would, it would be happen. so fucking AFC yeah. North, yeah. and that's why I'm taking the Steelers. Yeah, wow, I'm that's also taking big. it because of my man Mitch. Is that a plum pick? It is a plum pick. Mm. It is. You feel it? It's it's both a plum pick and a bounce back. Left Baltimore down. minus four. I'm gonna go Baltimore, but I think I'm Steelers cover. That's not that many points. Bro. I'm going yes. Baltimore just for the narrative. Not that many four points. One. Well, it does align with your narrative that you've been preaching all off season. Yeah. yeah. Texans at Falcons. Game? Falcons. I'm gonna go Texans here. I'm gonna go Falcons as bounce well. Bounce back. It is a bounce back bounce letdown, back letdown, but letdown. I'm I I'm I'm hoping CJ Stroud just keeps up this. He's the best rookie like, quarterback. My head narrative. tells me that that the that the Texans should win this game, but yeah, they should. This is a but one I, o'clock I, warrior I'm, game. You know me. I'm an analytical math guy. This is a young way coup game. Huge young he's way. Coup he has game. like six field goals. They went yep. eighteen. Pick him up in fantasy. This by is by the half. Game. He's already hit three field goals, and he hits one to close out the half. That mm-hmm. just at the. 50-yard line. Are y'all all going Falcons? No, I'm taking the I'm Texans. Falcons. Oh, I'm taking Falcons. Let's go. All right. Texas, baby. Texas. Hey. Adam took the Falcons? Houston. Hey, that's the best team in Texas, bro. It is. <sighs> You're right. And Florida. Uh, Panthers oh. at Lions. How did, how did that one work out? Li- Lions. Yeah, Lions. Panthers at Lions. 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 Ten. They're ten-point favorites. Lions about to kick the shit out of them. Agreed. Ten-point favorites. Wow. We're going to win by way more than that. Detroit. Way more than ten. Watch if Carolina win. Giants at Dolphins. Oh, 11. Miami by 11. I have to take the Dolphins. No, you're not allowed to do that. I'm taking the Dolphins. I'm taking the Dolphins. I'm, I'm all, the Dolphins just got clapped, bro. Like, yeah. There's no taking way they the lose this This is like, it was so bad. If the Dolphins beat the Bills, I would have been like, mm, maybe, This could be a maybe, spot right here, yeah. but, no. but this is a huge spot for the Dolphins to win by 30. The Dolphins are going to win this game. Yeah. I need to answer this one? Yeah. I'm not going to answer this one. Okay. Just say it. Why? Give me a sound. Okay, there but you, you answered. So you took the Giants? You sound like a smoke alarm there, not a dolphin. I'm putting the Giants on the there graphic you. until you say you're taking the Dolphins. The Miami! Was that enough? Heat? No. Yeah, you want the heat? We can Marlins! The Marlins! Uh, oh, unfortunate eliminated. loss, yeah. But, but Texas, moving That's, on, ALDS. Give me right, the baby. fucking porpoise. You're, nice. playing, right. you're playing the Orioles, bro. Yeah, fuck the Orioles. They suck. Donnie hey, Tongavailoa. Donnie. The Don. The Don. Why do you call him Donnie? It's his middle name. But the middle name is Donnie? Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> No, I said it's a cute little name. Wait, so say his full name now. I won't do that. No, like, I just want to see how it... Tua Donnie Tungavailoa. Tua, Tua. I mean, he's got Bengals a really at Cardinals. Um, measuring, like, Tom, 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 Yeah, Tom, this is a measuring stick game. In the wrong how way bad the Bengals. the Bengals are. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's tough, man. God, it's, I it feel is tough like the because Cardinals are I a better do, team do right now. I was going to say, I feel like... they are a better team right now. I feel like Josh Dobbs is... Like, I feel Actually like they're better hurt. than the Bengals. I think they are, but it's just tough to go against Joe Burrow in a situation like this, even though he's been terrible. There's just no way that, like, when Daniel Jones put up that many fucking points against How's them. How's the Cardinals' defense? Like, it's not bad. Not, not great. It's it's not good. They're both one and three. They put up a lot of points. They killed us with three offensive linemen missing, but they did kill I'll us. I'll go with the Bengals, but I don't like it. Me too. I don't know if I'm going with them yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Cincy. My ball like the My the, gut tells me Bengals, but No, no, I'm the opposite. My no, gut my tells gut me Cardinals. Tells me too. <laughs> my gut tells me Cardinals. I'm gonna go with my head and take the Bengals because of Joe Burrow. My balls tell me Cardinals too. Like it's <laughs> Oh no, you can't ignore the plums. Take hey, Cardinals, bro. You got the red on your head too. I can't. I can't do it either. It's it, I can't You know what? I can't pick the Cardinals to beat the Bengals, bro. It's okay, someone will. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. Because I want the narrative. Wait, can we turn that light back on? No, it looks better like this. I want the narrative. I want the, All right, d- cool, the, bro. the Bengals to be one I, for. I, so I haven't locked it in yet, though. Because I think the... I, I, think haven't, the, lo- I haven't said anything yet. I'm not, I think I'm, the Cardinals smell blood in the water. I mean, like they that. should. The Bengals look terrible. Adam's bad at this. I'm taking the Bengals. It's a good The take. Bengals have to bounce back. Yeah. Have yeah, I'll to. I'll take the Bengals. Have to. They have to. This is a Jags-Bills one for me. Gonna go with the Cardinals just for the sake of it, but I do think the Bengals should and will win this game. Like my, I, this is you know I said like my plums tell me a lot of things. 
my ball. This is the first time I felt something. Yeah, you felt first time I feel, I feel it's right. It's lower. It's lower than I thought. and true. It's lower than I thought. Yeah, I, I felt yeah. it in the balls, but lately it's the, the, below the, the balls. It's the scrotum the plums have been lying to me a lot lately yeah. this year. They've been lying to me a lot. So fuck them. <laughs> All right. Eagles at Rams. Rams. Eagles. I'm also going to take the Eagles, but I do see it, it would be a, a back an interesting spot for the Rams. Uh, if if Is Cooper Cup playing? Doesn't matter. Doesn't, it players. wouldn't matter. They I got think, Puka. They're fine. But it would be fun if it was like Cooper Cup's back. He puts up 150 yards and a touchdown. I think, he I, might play. I, I low-key low key think the Eagles smoke him. I think like, the Eagles are taking this one. I think this is a closer game than people think for sure. Uh, I'm gonna take the Rams as well. I've picked against the Eagles every single week. Oh, every well time, every, every time I do oh, it, and four, baby. in the comments like, "Yeah, it's too Felipe always picks against the Eagles." You like fuck. So you're, you're gonna do it every week. Yeah, I mean, I actually think they could lose every week. I actually think they could lose, and every week they almost it's lose. The NFL, except man. for the there's Bucks. a guy who keeps hey, commenting any given Sunday. There's, yeah, a, you're right. there's a guy who keeps commenting on our Instagram who I I know I, I went to camp with him, and he's a diehard Eagles fan. He just keeps attacking the fuck out of your taste. <laughs> oh, maybe it's him. Maybe it's, it's him. Bender doesn't break on on Instagram. He is aggressive. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it, no. but like rudely. But the Rams can actually the Rams are good, and the Eagles obviously they've almost lost almost every single week. So. Yeah. Bounce back game for the Eagles, though, after, like... Because I feel like that's a that was a bad game for them. Barely yeah. beating the Commanders in overtime. Yeah, they barely beat the Vikings, though. They barely beat, like... What was the other... They the smoked the Patriots. Bucks. They barely... They should, almost lost to the Patriots. Or Taking the Eagles. Eagles. Rams. Uh, all right. Jets at Broncos. This is a, this is a battle of the ego. This this one... I uh, was saying before the pod... I'm taking Jets. I think I this too. is a bounce back letdown, but for some reason, the letdown is the Jets, even <laughs> though they lost, and the bounce back is the... Broncos, oh, even, even though, they, though won. they won. Well, Sean they Payton. Because like they looked like the shit for the f- most of the game, and then they beat the Bears. So it wasn't like I, a great, like, they, yeah, they came back, but, like, it wasn't a great win. And the, the Jets won last week with Zach Wilson playing playing well, like, as I'm well doing, as he did and whatever. I, I understand the equation, and either way the equation goes. You, you could you could convince me, but I'm doing this strictly just, I think, like, the Jets' defense is good enough to keep them in games, and then Thanks. Zach Wilson's going to fucking carve up. The Broncos defense. I, so I was gonna say <laughs> I he, don't like. I was like, saying if he carved with under, the most dull life of all time. If the amount of that I heard from Chris Collinsworth that he finally understands Nathaniel Hackett's system. West Coast baby. If he actually does understand that yeah. offense, he plays like he did against the Chiefs. They're gonna put up thirty five. Not to mention the they'll, they'll be running the West Coast offense in the West Coast. Yeah. Well, Mountain West. Mountain, Mountain West, West yeah. not the same. They don't count them. Well, I would apologies. I I, <laughs> I, I see that logic, and I raise you the fact that Sean Payton spoke out about Nathaniel Hackett. It's a little bit of a oh, revenge game. It's all right, a yeah, bounce back game for Hackett. Nathaniel Hackett revenge game. Yeah, yeah, yeah huge that's revenge game. Yeah. That's exactly why I'm taking the Broncos. Oh. oh. I'm going to take the Jets. I think you've convinced me. I was, by the way, I don't necessarily always subscribe to the bounce back letdown notion. I, know, I was just don't. analyzing it I as do. such I of do. like. You don't get the emails I, every week? No. Wow. I have not subscribed. Subscribe. subscribe. My newsletter. Yeah. yeah, it's a good one. That's back let down by Jack Perotti. Um, I'm still gonna. I'm gonna go to the Jets. I, I agree. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think Zach Wilson <sighs> is confident right now, and that's that's pretty much the thing he needed. He needed some confidence. See, that's why I think they lose. There's something about the NFL that when your defense is when it's bad, 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 then it swings right back. Mm. I could see the Broncos having like two ints. They just released Randy Gregory, who they signed to a five year deal. Mm. That one didn't make much sense. That one doesn't make sense, but it just feels like a spot where oh, everyone's gonna say the Jets. Look at how Zach Wilson played, and then the Broncos defense, which has been abysmal. Comes oh, to play. No, I, I think the Jets cooked, defense, but defense is, is proven bad. That they got yes. cooked by Justin and Zach Fields, Wilson bro? has been proven. Bad. No, that's not true. He just played very well. He played one game well, and the Broncos all last year were a top defense. 12 Justin defense. Field, what did Justin Fields do? He Justin was a, Fields' only game he's actually competent this year is against I agree the with you. I agree with you, which is why I'm saying I expect this fucking to you be the game that 70. they come back. I agree with you. That's why I'm saying the pendulum is going to start swinging back. No, they're just bad. You can't say Zach Wilson just came off a good game because the Broncos were all good fucking last year on the defensive side of the ball. What? That's your prediction. That but is That's a prediction. whole different team. Coming off a good game. What? No, it's, it's a very similar team. All right, Jets. Jets. Broncos. Jets. Shut up, baby. Uh, Chiefs at Vikings. Chiefs at Vikings. Interesting. Holy I'm going to take the fuck. Chiefs. The gonna Chiefs are going to gonna put up 90. I agree. I don't know about that. Bro. 90, 90. The is Vikings Taylor going? Is that bad. I don't no, give a fuck. Taylor's Chiefs are only four-point favorites. Taylor's not going to Minnesota. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it goes to Minnesota. That's sneaky. I, I'm taking the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs put up like like almost 50. Like Although, realistically. What are the Chiefs three and one? Yo, but but the Chiefs will be three and zero oh since being Swifties, right? Oh, gotta update can't, the bio. Update the bio. Update NFL the bio next week. Three and zero oh since being Swifties. Are we all going Chiefs? Are yeah, you thinking about I it? I gotta go Chiefs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, the go Vikings. Chiefs. One and four. Vikings are bad. Blow it up. 
Bad. Cowboys Niners. Cowboys at Niners. All right, all right, all right. Before the we real to, game of the week. Before we get into these predictions, I realized we do have a giveaway, and we're going to have a CTA come out on our TikToks. But anyone that's listening to our Spotify or Apple this podcast right now Amazon, on audio. Right below you Google, in front. Google Podcast that's about to close. Wherever you're listening, <laughs> uh, we're giving away an NFL jersey of your choice. Ooh, you can get this, it to a jersey. This is how you get it, though. Great okay? craft. You got to give us a rating on on Spotify or Apple, wherever you're listening. So Siri's going to vote as well. Wait, no, she asked you to say it again. Say it again. Give us a rating on either Apple or Spotify, wherever you listen to. Give us a rating there. And then comment five stars on one of our TikTok videos. Five, the number five. Just Don't hit me with F-I-V-E. Yeah, number five. I like stars. to spell out. And then right. we'll give you a free. And then we could choose you for a free NFO. Technically, jersey. Adam, that's grammatically correct to spell out five stars if it's a sentence. Considering we made the rules, put the number. We'll just hey, good it. shout out, man. Thanks, man. I'm going to do that for sure. Sweet. Wait, are we eligible? No. Mm. Definitely oh, not. I love, nice, <laughs> I love a free River Creek crafter to Juwan James All right. jersey. All right, Cowboys at Niners. Who Let's we, have you guys pick first because you know where we're going. I'm going to go with the 49ers. Por qué? Niners at home and fuck the Cowboys. That's pretty understand. much it. Understood. No, the Niners haven't showed any weaknesses, really. Yeah, and the right. Cowboys yeah. have. Agreed. And I think the Niners oh, are the better team. Yeah, you're right. Oh, and God. that Brock Purdy's Smart a better man. quarterback. Oh, yeah, no, that's also valid. I think because not only did Dak not play well in that divisional game, and they lost. I'm going with the Cowboys. Dak has to play well. Hey, has to play good well. Luck out there. Has to play well. Bang, nice. Give bang, me the bang, Cowboys. Uh, I'm gonna take the Niners. Niners are a better team. Cowboys often suspect Mike McCarthy. Not good. He's on. He's on a hot seat. Could get fired. Well, this is no longer now, fun. Now, if he. <laughs> Niners are a much better team. Niners are the best. Team. <laughs> Jack is in shambles. The Niners are the best team in football right now. <laughs> He's floored. Now what? Now what? I don't know how I feel about this. I, I think it's illegal. I think it's a flag on the play. You're Not going to. to the game together too. Yeah. No, like <laughs> well, I'll be rooting. Not be rooting for the I'll Niners. Rooting, I'll be rooting for the Cowboys. Now but this is strictly for the record. This could be an absolute blowout. The Niners could blow out the Cowboys. Here's the problem with the Cowboys: their offense. Their play calling, everything like that. We talk about the Giants' bad play calling, the, the Bengals' bad play. Oh God, the Cowboys. Is, this is bad. Like now, the only thing we, is bad. The only thing, <laughs> yeah, <he's gonna laughs> bad. the only bright spot of this Cowboys offense is that Dak has one interception this year compared to the rest of the NFC quarterbacks. I think combined they have like fourteen. Damn. That's the only thing. Now, the, that's <laughs> well, like there the, are fifteen teams, right? Sixteen. 16 teams? What no, the, the rest of the NFC East. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. I, I was confused. Was like yeah, NFC, yeah. I'm like, the rest of the NFC East quarterbacks, they have like 14. A lot of those guys have turnovers and stuff. Dak only has one. But that's the problem is like Mike McCarthy's not even – he's terrible. So I think the offense is going to be in trouble against the Niners. And the Niners can run the ball. Their offensive coordinator is the best in football we've established. Well, co head coach. Yeah. Sorry, the head coach. But his offensive schemes. Yes, the best. He has, he's the best offensive mind in football. Yeah, no doubt. And um, Can't confirm. Cowboys defense – Got some big names, down one big name, and they're not. They don't, but they don't have depth. So uh, yeah, Niners pretty easy pick. Yeah, no, Niners shocker. I would say that. Well, this is no longer fun. I was hoping Fleabay be like, yeah, fuck yes, let's go two v two. <laughs> nah, no, I, give me I, the I Niners. Actually, actually don't believe that. Hey, Felipe, give me a bang bang Niner gang. Can't do that one. <laughs> I'm hey, bang, bang, Niner gang, baby. I'll yeah, be bang, bang. Let's fucking go. Shout I'll be rooting E40. for the Cowboys. And I will say this, though. Like, the, the best case scenario for the Cow... I mean, like, you want to win this game. I was talking to my dad last night about it. No little analysis. You know, he wanted it. Yeah. Also talking about oh. Texas. The Red River rivalry, of course. It's a huge weekend for Texas. Big weekend. Huge. But... Like, actually massive. Th like, best case is actually the opposite of what Adam said. I understand, like... Well, I they, actually get your play, logic. And I get it. Bad. I think it could happen. The Cowboys are going to try to get revenge. Get McCarthy playoffs. out, but for the most, last couple of but most likely, what's going to happen is that these two teams are going to face each other in the playoffs, and the team that loses this game will He's probably win. win that game. So your stats, why are you taking the Niners? Oh, so this is a that's a good loophole. Well, I, if, good spin zone from you. Good I think zone. it's stronger. I think it's I think it's stronger for the, for the team that you have more motivation in the playoffs when you face each other. Mm. Good, no, it's a good spin zone. Mm -hmm. Very good spin <laughs> zone. I like that. What like jersey that. are you wearing in the game, Felipe? Uh, I'll wear Dez. It's the only, it's really, I, I got my, I got a Dak. Not Dak? I would wear Dak, but it's too big. I got that one because I want to frame it one day when he makes the <laughs> Hall of Fame. Yeah. And, and so it's too big. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a XL or some shit. Uh, what jersey are you wearing? Uh, probably my McCaffrey. Nice. Yeah. 
the, um, the Panthers McCaffrey? No, no, I have a Niners one as well. Yeah, yeah, I, okay. I got it the day that he got traded. I was thinking of maybe uh, you have Ryan. a Panthers McCaffrey. Yeah, I do. I got oh, it like, wow. when he got drafted the Panthers. That's pretty what, sick. What, I, well, he's my favorite. Jersey, are you gonna wear to the Dolphins? I, I might. I might buy a Brock one there. Oh, nice. I might. What jersey are you gonna? My wear? My Braxton Barrios shirt won't be here, right? Uh, it comes in tomorrow. No, we're leaving today. I'm either gonna yeah. go with my Tua jersey or the Tyreek Tua T-shirt. Nice. You should do the Tua jersey. Probably. What are you uh, going to wear? I am going to be wearing the best active player on the New York Giants roster, Daniel Jones. Best active player no, on this whole Best active player, Grant Cano. Unfortunately, you might be right. <laughs> no, Kayvon Thibodeau has been pretty good. Graham Cano. Oh, but what about Evan Neal? He hates you guys. <laughs> he hates everyone, <laughs> clearly. You see that shit? What? Evan Neal spoke out and uh, made fun of the fans, fans of the New York Giants and oh. said... What do you guys do for a living? You fucking flip burgers and hot dogs and like shit on all these fucking Cause, fans. Because the Giants ah. fans were booing. Well, yeah, because they suck. And he sucks. And he sucks. He's, He's bad. been bad. But we spoke to him. He was very friendly. You know, I always respect that take from players. Like last year, Justin Fields got hate for kind of like clapping back at fans. Like, man, you don't fucking do shit. Yeah, you're, you're, you're like watching grown men do their job. Like imagine if we're watching construction workers like, yo, you fucking suck. Like. I agree, I agree with that. That, that, is, is, that, that is a good take. It is Agreed. a great take. You know what I mean? All right, last game, Monday Night Football, Packers at Raiders. Raiders. Devontae Adams' revenge game. Possibly. Uh, who's Possibly. it, Raiders and who? Packers at Raiders. Uh, Packers. Right. Packers. It's Packers minus one, isn't also it? also going Packies. Yeah, it's going to be minus one. But Raiders at home on, on prime time. Why, why are the Raiders on prime time? I'm never going to bet on the Raiders in prime Devontae time again. Adams. I've done it like three times. Same. I think I've done it two times this are year. Are we clean sweep Packers? Packers. Packers. What yeah. could possibly go wrong? I actually think Raiders could win this one, though. They I could. do, too. But I just can't Flip keep flop. fucking picking the Raiders. I Give us the a Raiders snip snap. Like, All right, I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. I think, nice. I'm, I think I picked I'm like, the Raiders like three times this year. I can't keep doing it. I think so, like man. the Packers are one of my NFC teams, so I, I like them. Are you I like NFC Jordan Love. No. Romeo Dobbs? Yeah. <laughs> and Luke Musgrave. Musgrave. I'm about That's to true. trade for Christian Watson in fantasy. Uh, dude, good point. And I have Jordan Love. Oh, my God. Honestly, good point. Bart Star. Of course. <laughs> of course. All right. Well, that's all the games this week. Damn. Happy football. Week five. Very exciting. Reminder. Week five. Oh. Adam and I will be at the Dolphins game this weekend. Felipe and Jack are going to be at the Niners. So no game. watch along. No pre. So no watch along this week on Sunday. But uh, if you happen to be at the Dolphins or the Niners game and you see us, come find us. Say what's up. We will do a live, though, on TikTok. Jack's the Sunday handsome night. man with the jawline. We Adam's are do- the tall guy. Yep. Huh? Exactly. Yep, yeah. that's how it works. That's totally. how it is. It took me a second. Yep. Uh, we're also going to go live on TikTok Sunday night during the Cowboys-Niners game. Oh, yeah. TikTok, yeah. Oh, you guys will, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. I won't. Oh, and yeah. then Monday, we'll be back. We will do our recaps. That'll be at 5 o'clock, though, not 10.30 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, well, you guys will be back. We'll be in studio. We'll be you guys will be in San on Francisco. Zoom. Yep, yep, yep. We'll be at, at the Castro's. Yep, will be actually the first ever topless strip club ever is in San Francisco. By the way, Fun oh, thing. you guys should go. We can go there. Like they have a good, uh, good brunch deal. First ever topless strip club. <laughs> yeah, yep. bottomless, nothing like brunch at a strip club. Bottomless chicken tenders. What is topless? Oh no, sorry, fully nude strip club. Okay, oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. oh, that makes more sense. Because they used to just be topless, but then, you know, got it. Got Happy it. brunch. <laughs> yeah, boys got a got feast. A really good sushi deal. No like, way. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Probably terrible sushi. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Caps Up Podcast. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye. Who do you think is going to win this week? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you want to bet on any of the games this week, make sure to go to thegameday.com slash promotions. You're going to find all the best offers.